Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 249. Happy New Year to you. It's 2023. That uh, doesn't mean anything to me, uh, but it's uh, January and we're doing the Wix Online Meeting uh, with a funky little number. I don't know, 250 sounds kind of exciting. We will do that next time. Uh, this meeting is being recorded for those of you that are not with us right here, right now. Uh, you knew that and all the people in chat now do as well. Um, if you're here, go ahead and say hi. Welcome. Uh, it's great to have you. We are doing basically what we've been doing for most of the last meetings for the last few months. We're going to talk about the Wix 4 release plan. It has not changed significantly, but we're going to talk about it just to make sure everybody's on the same page. Then we will do a review of both the issues inside the Wix 4 and we will do triage. And as always, we will finish with comments and questions and other things that people want to talk about. Let me just go ahead straight into the Wix 4 release plan because there's nothing has changed. If anything, it's just become a little more solid. Wix 4 Preview 1 released last November. Wix 4 RC1 completed last December. We have people using it and reporting bugs. That's good. That's what we're going to talk about next. We will release Wix 4 RC2 on January 20th. Uh, used to have a plus or minus in there, but at this point, that seems like a good date to do that, to continue on our roughly monthly cadence, to keep pushing the releases out uh, with the sets of fixes or the set of bug fixes for the issues that came in most recently. We will continue to do that process uh, in uh, hopefully in early of this year as possible. I guess I could change 2023 to this year now. Uh, and we will continue to do these RCs and we will eventually declare victory uh, when we feel like we've got uh, the bugs under control. So that means we need to go talk about the issues that we have right now. And that means we need to go to the web. Bob, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Scrap. All right. I think. We're going to start with a review of the currently open issues. Um, make sure I refresh this. No. All right. These are the issues that are currently open in RC2. We're going to add a few more to this probably through triage. I don't, we'll see. But these are things that we know we're working on. And uh, these are oldest to newest. So I'm just going to start at the top, let everybody that owns the issues talk about them and what they want, if they're still working on them, if they plan to finish them before. Uh, Wix for RC2, or there will be an RC3, or for Wix RC3. So hopefully I've delayed long enough for Sean to give his answer on whether he is doing more documentation for Burn API, now that it is uh, available, I think, circa RC1, um, or if he's going to slide this out into you know the unknown future. Or if he's done. I haven't had time to work on it yet, but... But you still, still have a few weeks, right? Oh, yep. So the question is, do you still plan to? Yeah, I plan to. All right, great. Uh, check cubes for best compatibility is a go out and make, check to see what Microsoft has published most recently. Right. And this DNC thing is go look at what Microsoft has published most recently about um, source generators. I know Bob is holding on to these as late as possible. Are you thinking RC3, Bob, or RC2? We're kind of, it's going to be one yeah. of those, right? I was thinking RC3. Okay. All right. Um, That's fine. I don't think there's, you know, a huge rush. This is, well, this, this one in particular, I would like to, you know, resolve because there might be a code change. Like if we say, well, we're going to take this one, but disable this broken ice. Or you mean whatever. the cubes? Six five six seven. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There there may be a little work. Well, there could be work on either of these, but all right. Yeah, I I'm I'm kind of leaning towards if it's not an RC three as far as known work, we're probably. I mean, I'm hoping we're kind of getting to the end by RC threes. I guess is kind of what I'm saying. So for sure. All right. Um, I don't know who this is. Power code um, still has this issue. I know Sean, you left some feedback for it. Seven oh five eight. I don't know what else we do on this right now. Yeah, um, I don't know. He gave a thumbs up to my comments on his code. <laughs> so, and that was how long ago? Uh, a month, more, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 
But I mean, it was the holidays, so yeah, that's that's the tricky part along all these, right? I don't know what's going on with this. Do we? All right, I will go leave a comment on this to kind of say, hey, this needs to happen or it's not happening. And then see how he goes from there. Now that's after the holidays and be like, all right. Um, basically, for whatever reason, you can't make the meeting. Maybe he doesn't know about them. Maybe it's in a time zone that's bad for him or whatever. So uh, just so you know, we need to kind of finish this up. All right, I'll go bump that and then we'll talk about it again next cycle all right um the v3 v4 conversion we were just talking to ron about this because he expressed some interest or willing to take it uh still waiting for him to leave a comment on it so we can assign it to him and see when it's going to happen uh rc2 like that's a couple weeks ron like i know you're in the chat here do you want like have an idea if you'll finish it or you're going to tackle it in the next couple of weeks or should we just keep a mental thought that, yeah, no, we'll just put this in RC3 given the time that you're going to put into it. Although I'm kind of putting it out there that things going beyond RC3 mm, probably need to be pretty bad for us to be bothering to do them. Like, I don't know that I would take this post RC3, for example. We haven't like put a hard line in, in the sand, a hard we line should, in the sand. We should start discussing where the line is and then you know, cementing it. Yes, I, I agree. I'm not quite ready to do that yet, but definitely getting closer. This is just kind of the feeling. So, uh, and do you mean RC three or RC two? I, I I mean RC three right now, just because so much time was in the holidays. I have a hard time like saying hard line and RC two. Um, so I, okay. I I think it's RC three that we're like, yeah, this is the time. If there's any of these little or things to get in, that is. Guarantee an RC four, right? Or sorry, this is the this is the line of the sand. Question. Yes, yes, it it might require. Yeah, it probably does mean that we're not done in February, right? But we could get RC two could go uh, in uh, could go. Sorry, RC three could go out with everything done, and people could get it. And after a few weeks, everybody's like zero issues or zero issues that we're going to fix and there is no rc4 because r3 was good enough so we just wrap it up and ship it like that could happen maybe okay that's why i'm kind of hinting that it's good to start thinking about everything in by rc3 because there may not actually be an rc4 it may just be we're not taking anymore we wrapped it all up we're rtm we never had an rc4 okay um i i guess I need to draw a line. By RC3, that, that sounds to me like, you know, February. Whereas really it's like, you know, you need to get it in as soon as possible. If not RC2, then as soon as possible thereafter, rather than saying, you know, oh, well, you know, February 23rd or whatever the, the date oh, is. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. that That's fair. Definitely, yeah. I guess there's a week of January after RC2. So, yes, mm -hmm. very early RC, uh, very early February. Yes, I agree with that. We're going to talk about this more probably next meeting, assuming that things aren't going crazy for RC2. And we'll be like, all right, now that we know what RC2 is, what's RC3 and how much more do we do after that? Cool. Um, I'm just kind of putting out there is if for people that aren't in Wix all the time and getting a feel and looking at the bugs the way we are, like every bug that comes in, look at it, think about it. Uh, just kind of give you a feel for it. Um, there's probably, there's, there's an RC3. I'm pretty sure there's an RC3. There might not be an RC4 is kind of what we're looking at. All right. So, okay, uh, then that that yeah, well, okay. We'll we'll discuss it, but yeah. you know, at a certain point you, we have to talk about what we would take in RC3 so that we could skip an RC4 if that, you know, were possible. In other words, you know, a trivial a typo fix, sure, no problem. Um, you know, a more substantial substantial code change is something that you know we might have to can we actually not to do an rc4 right something came in during rc3 right yeah we'll talk about it. cool it'll be easier when there's a calendar or timeline and screen too i think so yeah um all right so ron says he's commented on that so bob if you can give it to him that would be great maybe you already have nope not yet but 
see the comment count's gone up. All right, this last one, 7132 has been a thing that I've been battling, thinking about, talking to a bunch of different people about the best way to do it. Uh, it's, it's scarier than I would like at this time, but it's just uh, making, we have issues in some cases, and I've not found a project myself that reproduces it, so I'm still trying to lean on some other people that have got this reproducing consistently. Um, anyway, where project references or package references, when you do restore, uh, doesn't doesn't work correctly because of TFMs. Username, that's great. If you have this issue, it would be great if someone could give me a, re a repo, like a GitHub repo with a project in it that that does this. That would be awesome. I'm, everybody's like, oh, I can't give you my code because it's all proprietary. I'm like, that's great. I would love for someone to tease out and say, here is code I can give you. It, it can be, you know, it doesn't have to do anything. Just the build that reproduces this would be great to have one. Um, I have not figured out the magic incantation that I'm missing to make it happen. Anyway, uh, but I understand a lot of parts of the moving pieces in here, and I'm talking to Microsoft about different and better ways of solving this so that when Wix takes dependencies on other projects, partic particularly uh, .NET projects that have really complex calculations with the different target frameworks that they have, that we always can reference them properly. Anyway, so that's what that is. Um, uh, that's what this is about. This is like the thing that I have in RC2 in worst comes to worst RC3. And then we will talk about what that means if it all trips over to there, which is Bob's point about scary changes in RC3 and all that kind of good stuff. So this is the thing that I'm generally spending most of my uh, development thinking hat time on while all the other things are going on. So that's the review of everything. Um, I will go follow up on 7058 about the .NET Core SDK search. Otherwise, everything seems accounted for. People are working on the issues that are currently in RC2, which is good. So let's go talk about the new stuff. Uh, we'll start at the top. These are the things that have come in since RC2 released. Yes, since RC2 went out and over the holidays. I think that's right. Uh, 7100. Conversion to VS Find is it, Visual Studio isn't pretty. Um, yeah, it's conversions. It's not doing a little bit of white space, better white space handling. Uh, if someone that, wants it, uh, that's fine. I'm. Um, I I will take this um, just because I'm curious. Um whether it should remove the property ref entirely. Oh. Uh, just based on, you know, how interesting the custom actions work now, mm. you know, the old property ref mechanism is useless. So I'm wondering if that was a bug that I did, or if, if I should have added the removal of the property ref and I did, all right, very good. So that will go off. It's not a pretty issue potentially after all. Pretty, oh man. There was some well, to be clear. There. I'm not. I'm not going to play around with the formatting. I understand, um, right? It's not about I'm, making it I'm pretty. It's about is this correct saying, or not? I got it. I got yeah. It. Well, the property ref is harmless, uh, but whether yeah you know, the the conversion should remove it. Yeah, you know, that is something I would fix. Yep. 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 All right. Cool. Um, Wix v4 compression does not create files as small as v3, 7101. So this one actually uh, surprised me, it was interesting. I was like, really? The I didn't think that the cabs would change, the cab compression changed that much until I think it was Bob or Chris, someone pointed out that they're probably diffing their entire MSI, which then made a whole lot more sense. Um, so... I think we've asked for more information here, right? No, not really. Um, no, I did. Oh yeah, okay. I did. MP3 key provider repo with the repo project. All right, cool. So, I mean, they're pulling in different custom actions that can change the size, all kinds. I mean, who knows? This is the whole MSI. Any number of things could have changed. Um, also, ten percent smaller. Ten percent of 
what would be good to know. Like, you know, 10% of 20 bytes is not a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the custom action sizes have changed. Um, yeah. Though it depends on which architecture, you know, yeah. D3 was always x86. Um, yeah, you I might think there's like a 20K difference in x86 in x4. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, we need more information to narrow it down. I don't think it's cabbing. I don't either now. Like as soon as that, I was like, oh, okay, this is probably not cabbing. This is just some other changes inside the MSI. Um, so Wix standard, yeah, I don't think the Wix standard BA changes should matter here, Jacob, because I think he's just diffing an MSI. Um, but yeah, anyway, so bump it again now that we're in the after the holidays and see if it comes back uh, that works ask for exact bite difference size because yeah like jacob points out yeah it's 10 percent in a one meg install or 10 percent in a 30 gig install is a very different sort of thing probably not three gig though two gig but if the cab's embedded it's not three gig so all right cool we'll bump it one more time but I was much less ish concerned about that issue when you guys pointed out that it was the MSI, not the cab. I was like, oh, because cabbing has, has had a lot of changes in it that were supposed to make it, hopefully makes it actually extract a little faster. And I hope it didn't um, make the cabs bigger, but that's entirely possible. All right, so we'll get a little bit more information on that. All right, license file scroll bar at the bottom is at the bottom at low time, 7113. Um, they did pictures of Wix standard BA, I think. And in three, it was at the top. And Wix four, it's at the bottom, which does look a little funny. And Bob, I know you poked at this. I poked and I stabbed at it. And <laughs> was not able to figure out why the behavior changed, first of all. Um, V3 and V4 are using very different code paths, but the you know at the end of the day, it all boils down to a Windows message that is basically happening the same way. Um, and so I'm, I'm, yeah, struggling to understand that. Um, is this I've, the edit control that we upgraded? Um, it is. Um, but after I tried to, after I poked, trying to gently understand what was going on, I started stabbing, um, which, you know, includes things like reverting to the old rich edit. Um, and I didn't see a change in behavior and then sending scroll messages to try to get the, you know, cursor back up to the top and that does not work reliably, although it works in some cases. Uh, so I eventually was just stabbing blindly and I decided I was going to take a break and not, um, you know, do that. Um, I, I, I still don't understand the, the change in behavior because again, you know, it all comes down to a single windows message and, you know, it's possible it's due to the the new rich edit control. But like I said, I played around with that and I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it, it definitely needs more work. Um, but I kind of reached my temporary limit. Um, I, I, I would take a look at this again after I've had time to, you know, recover from spending so much time in the bottles of user 32, good old GDI land. Unless, John, you have an idea, because I know you did the wind, wind doodle work, which was, you know, all good, but. Yeah, I thought that was just refactoring. It, yeah, really. it, again, it, it comes down to that same EM stream in message that, is how Wix standard BA did it in V3. So um, 
the you know obviously the the using the newer uh, rich edit control is a likely culprit. Um, so yeah, that would be the first place I would start. You know, when I start investigating again. But even then, it's like um, there. I'm looking around. There isn't a lot of documentation on the on the differences, and so even if even if I can conclusively say, oh, yep, it's definitely the new edit control. I yeah, I that doesn't lead lead me to a fix. So. I'd be yeah, fine no. if if the if you know the fix is a workaround instead, just yeah, you know, let it stream in and then scroll it back up, but that was not entirely successful. So I'll I'll take it um and I don't know, do something with it. Continue to kick it around. At this point, yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully between the two of you, maybe someone will come up with a good idea of like, oh, check this, and that'll be the answer. I don't know. Um, I don't either. Um, all right. But we'll put that in RC2. It is, well, it's not good. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it should be a problem, but yep. All right. Wix UI attribute to omit a EULA dialog, 7116. I think this is a feature, yeah. This is a feature to configure the Wix UI in a slightly different way, which is interesting, cool, and could be done in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I, I commented many years ago that once you have an, an extension, a compiler extension, um, you can do a lot of interesting things with well, especially Wix UI, uh, that was primarily driven just by you know, UI refs. The yep. compiler extension gives you a lot of a lot more flexibility. But yep. all right, well, that can go in the future, but not for um, harvest directory fails with cannot find system runtime. So harvesting doing assembly, uh, regis reg assembly. I forgot the name of the call. Uh, regasm? It's essentially regasm, but there's a call that basically does what regasm does. Um, doesn't like something about this assembly, and it's got system runtime in it. So, uh, yeah, it says .NET 6. So uh, don't do that is probably the easiest solution to this, unless someone wants to go in heat and make regasm smarter with... I presumably .NET 6 code and whatever differences there are between .NET Core and .NET Framework using the old names. I don't think, yeah. I didn't expect a lot of interest in going in and digging in and doing a whole bunch of stuff with register heat. So I think the easiest workaround is tell it not to register, to scan the assemblies for registering. So, all right. Cool. So that we're not taking in four. And then project references, a package reference account with TMs. Oh, I left this at triage just to make sure that we covered it in triage. This is the big thing that I'm working on where um, 7132. So this side to me, I've already talked about that. We don't need to go over it yet again. It is the thing that I'm thinking about most there. All right. So uh, we got one. New issue, two new issues out of all this? Two, because yeah, license and Bob got both of them. All right. Yay. That's <laughs> like, best of luck to you, Bob. All right. Um, so yeah, we're, this is kind of what we're looking at trying to finish for RC2. Um, I take that back. These first three do are may not be RC two ish. Do not need to be RC two ish. I guess I'd say um, could be RC three very easily given where they're at. But these down here we want to get into RC two. Um, if we're doing them, if not, then we could punt them. Um, well, or we need to figure out what to do with our companies. I think we need to keep like this scroll bar thing. Uh, we got to get that, and we have to get this project graphics thing sorted out. So anyway, that's where it's looking like. 
we were working on RC2 and all that kind of good stuff. That means I fill in space to see if anybody has any other questions or things they want to talk about. Um, I might just go back to the R the releases slide here. Um, if people are, I'm, all right. So floor's open if people have questions or comments. I'm gonna go back to the release plan. This is what we're doing. We are fixing the bugs that come in. We are finishing it such that that query that I just showed with eight issues on it is zero. That's what we're working towards is that all those things are closed and any new things that pop up, we try to get those closed um, or decide that we're not fixing them in Wix 4 and they'll move on to the next release kind of thing. So that's what we're doing right now. At this point, I feel like a broken record because this is what we've been doing for a while and we're getting closer and closer and closer and the issues are becoming narrower and narrower and narrower, I think, of what has to be done, um, what's left to be done, all those kinds of things. All right, I have filled a bunch of space. We will be back in two weeks, which is perfect. Lines up on the 19th, which is right before RC2. Um, any specials on how complex packs? Um, I have one, so username, I have one route that might work, but it has uh, implications on other parts that we have to then go verify that those could get worked out, which ended up looping in another team inside Microsoft. The, the, the challenge of this thing is that it's actually spanning like three different teams inside Visual Studio.net and, and NuGet basically. Uh, the the individual studio team or whatever. And when you span different teams in Microsoft, you end up having to get all these people to talk together. <laughs> so, which was extremely challenging over the holidays. So the timing of kind of getting into this and going, oh, that's what's happening. Uh, and oh, here's all the implications of all this is just kind of um, a little bit of herding cats and chasing people around. So uh, fortunately, like, Fire Giant is a Visual Studio partner. So we have the relationships with the people and we can go in there and they're like, they appreciate the problems we have. They are helping us and, you know, but we're a partner. We're not like inside Microsoft. So all that. And me not having the repo, like, yes. So if you could provide a repo, a, a repo with the repo, wow, I might need to get good at saying that. Um, if you had that, that would help because then it could just like flip over it over and over and over and over and over. You just spin on it will will help a little bit. Um, will help, could help a lot. But anyway, it, we have to solve it. So I will find a solution to it. I'm not worried about that part. We will solve it. So, uh, but that's it. That's what we're working on. We're end, end game, all things. And, um, on the 19th, that's two weeks from now. Uh, user, yeah, right, user, to be clear, yeah, I we don't need any code. It could just be a class library, empty, like just builds the DLL, but it's the project reference or the NuGet package reference that we need or the, or the interaction between the project reference and the package the package reference in a project reference. I think it's it's like along those kind of lines. Yeah, zero, the code is unimportant. It's just the build system stuff. So yeah, um, and we don't even need a real Wix project. It just has to kick off the process to make, basically I need to reproduce the build so I get an MS build bin log and iterate on it and the results from that because that's what everybody's kind of wanting to stare at. All right. 19th of January will be the next meeting, same time, same place. We will be talking about the state of RC2, the bug fixes that we've taken, uh, the, the bug fixes that are remaining. Uh, do the last minute, oh no, we really have to hold RC2 for something. But honestly, at this point, there's a number of bug fixes already in because we've been fixing bugs through the holidays while people open them, we have fixed a bunch of them. So I'm inclined to just send out RC2 with those set of fixes no matter what because I'm certain there's an RC3 coming after that. So we, you know, RC2 goes out and we're immediately into fixing whatever's left for RC3. So that's, it's like, that's the, the March right now. I'm getting all the things complete and done. Whew. All right, that's what I got. And I think 
uh, we have everybody. Yep. Everybody seems like we have their questions. If not, well, we'll be back in two weeks and we'll do this again. And you could ask questions then talking about uh, the release plan, the finishing of Wix V4. And then we'll look at uh, what comes after that. So until then, two weeks from now, all you guys have a fantastic uh, weekend or weekends, I guess. I don't know. We'll see you in two weeks. Uh, bye. Bye. Bye.